Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in. This afternoon I want to talk about three products that you have around your house that you can use for everyday uses. One of them is baking soda. The second one is cornstarch. The third one, lo and behold, Epsom salt. So the first one with baking soda, the first thing you can do with it is you can use it in your refrigerator to freshen odors to get the smell from some foods that may show up. It'll help that disappear. The second one, you can add it with vinegar to help unclog a drain. Um, I guess I can see that working because of the vinegar being acidic along with the baking soda and it builds like a foam type reaction. I can see where that would come in. I've personally never done it, but I do see where it would come in as a working thing. The third one, <clears throat> I like to do this. Add a small amount of hydrogen peroxide to baking soda to help whiten your teeth. I do from time to time, I don't always like to use toothpaste. From time to time, I do like to use just a regular box of Arm & Hammer tooth, uh, of baking soda to brush my teeth with. And then I'll put just a little bit of peroxide with it, you know, to go over it. And, um, you know, it definitely makes my teeth whiter and it's safer. And um, let's see, and, and I really like it a lot as well. Let's see, the fourth one, I don't particularly like to use it for this. I don't like the taste. No, I'm not a doctor. It's not a sponsored ad. Um, I'm sure many of you may have already heard of this, but you can use baking soda as an antacid. Um, I personally don't go that route. I would much rather use like seltzer water, club soda, um, hot tea, with, with honey like chamomile, which is good for the stomach. Um, ginger ale is another one that's really good to help ease, uh, you know, if you're not feeling well in your stomach. All right. The next one is cornstarch. And the first one, I actually learned this from my dad, and he learned it from his brother. Um, if a man or even a woman is shaving and you know, we've all been prone to cut ourselves. It's going to happen. You can get a little bit of cornstarch and dab it wherever you bleed, and it'll help clot it quicker. Um, I've, to this day, still use it, um, but that was one of the things that I was taught, you know, back when I was a teenager when I first started shaving. Uh, the second one, it makes a great dry shampoo uh, rub a little in hair and brush. I've heard about that. I've actually never done it, but I heard that does work. You can put it in your hair and then brush it through and it's supposed to help it, you know, revive it or, or somehow I'm not really certain. Um, let's see the third one. You can add it to the inside of shoes, uh, overnight to keep it fresh and dry. And then the next one, is you can use it in place of talcum powder, which that actually does work, by the way. Um, that is a very effective thing. I've done it um, too many times to count, like when I get out of the shower, that type of thing. It does work very well. Um, when it comes to Epsom salt, you can use it as a soaking solution. You put a couple of cups of it in your bath water, and it'll help relieve, you know, aches and pains of your muscles and things like that. So it, it's good to use as that. Um, another one, it's also good as a warm compress. Let's say you don't want to get in the bathtub and soak in Epsom salt. You just want to put it over a certain part of your body, your arm, your leg, or what have you. All you got to do is get a quart of water and one cup of Epsom salt. And, um, you know, take a, a washcloth or, or, a, or a hand towel, you know, soak it down in there, 
wring it out and lay it across for about 10 or 15 minutes. You can do that. I've done that. It works pretty well. Um, it says here that you can also use it um, in a first aid sense, meaning if you have um, a sunburn or something like that, you can actually mix uh, one cup of Epsom salt with cold water. And then you can just somehow put it across your sunburn or, you know, whatever, or minor burns or whatever issues you may have. And it's supposed to help, um, you know, it's supposed to help relieve some of the symptoms. Um, another thing that you can do with Epsom salt that was of surprise to me is you can use it in garden plants and shrubbery. What you do is you just sprinkle two tablespoons around the base of each plant. And um, you can also use it as a food supplement. This is new to me. I never really knew that about um, Epsom salt. You can, it tells you how to apply it with tomatoes and roses. You can use it on your lawn. Uh, it talks about evergreen and azaleas. It talks about trees. Uh, it'll help you set up a garden, perhaps. It tells you about that. And it's also good to use with um, houseplants. So I, I honestly never knew... Um, about the uses of what you can do with Epsom salt. The only thing I ever knew Epsom salt for was to use it as, you know, to soak in a hot, warmer, you know, warm tub with a couple of cups in there or use it as a compress. I never knew it for these uses right here. This is all new to me. One other use that I did not mention that you can use Epsom salt for, again, not a doctor, I'm just reading what I see here. I've never done it. I'm not so sure I want to ingest Epsom salt, but it says you can use it to relieve constipation. I might as well go ahead and put it out there. It is a part of life. It is something at some point or another that we've all dealt with. You know, it is a bodily function. So, but I personally would not use that in that area. There's other things or other methods I can use uh, for relieving constipation. And no, I'm not talking about using a laxative. Um, you could always eat, you know, certain type of fruit. Apple juice, a good apple juice, apple cider is good in that respect. I know it's also a form of, it's also a dietary fiber that helps, you know, set things into motion, so to speak. But um, yeah, this is just this is just a wonderful thing. These are just a few items around the home that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. Um, you know, maybe some of you have used these items in this respect before. If you haven't, you know, hopefully I've given you some good information as to how to use it. Um, but I just want to thank all of you for tuning in this afternoon and um i will see you on saturday um i'm not certain at this point whether i'm going to be alone doing a video on saturday or if jan jan from new york city saves money is going to be alongside uh, so right now i'm at a 50 50. so be out be on the lookout for a video this coming saturday i'll see you guys then have a great day Bye.